Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We've got some events ending tomorrow. We also have some Easter eggs that you might have missed and then a few other bits and bobs to go over as well. There's a lot of stuff to break down and get into today. If you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It does really help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's go over the events that are ending tomorrow. It is the Walking Wake and Iron Leaves 5 Star Raid. They are obviously back in raids, they have been since Christmas Day, but they are leaving tomorrow on the 7th of January. You have until Sunday the 7th of January 2024 at 2359 UTC to challenge these version exclusive Paradox Pokemon in Terror Raid battles. Walking Wake is appearing in 5 Star Terror Raids in the Scarlet game, and the Nine Leaves obviously in Violet. So, yeah, these are event exclusive Pokemon. If you do, this is the third time they've been in raids. If you do not get them this time, I don't know when they're going to be back. Um, but yeah, they, they, they're in the Pokedex, but also you don't need them in the Pokedex to complete the Pokedex. They're, they act like mythical Pokemon in that sense. But obviously, you may as well get them now if you haven't already. Of course, if you've already done the raids at any time in the past, you can't get them again. Uh, it says a special Walking Wake and Iron Leaves featured in this event. Uh, can be caught only once per save data. So even if the raid comes back again in the future, like I say, you're only available to get them once per save data. If you have different accounts on your Switch, then obviously you can get multiple, but um, one per save, basically. One of each per save. But yeah, that is ending on the 7th of January. Now, we may get a raid announcement on the Sunday, um, or Sunday night or Monday morning, depending on time zones. It, it really depends. Obviously, next week, we do have the Mythical Pokemon event uh, on Thursday, the 11th of Jan. So they may not not announce anything just simply because that's on the way but it, you know once that's done we, we won't have any kind of event at all we've got no massive mass outbreak events because obviously the Duraludon, Dratini and Jangmo have just finished um, and then as well as that we, we won't have any like seven star raid or five star raid event if nothing is announced so we'll have nothing after the Pachurant event. Now something that I did want to quickly go over though is that we, we are going to get more seven star legendary raid events in the indigo disc dlc this was what riddler ku tweeted out on the 21st of november saying what seven star legendary raids are you looking forward to in sudachi 2 so in the indigo disc now as we all know not every single legendary pokemon has made it into the indigo disc in fact barely any have there's 25 legendaries that have made it for, across from all the generations we obviously have raid events as well like we had a mewtwo raid event we had a dialga and palkia raid event there's going to be more legendaries and that's where the remaining remaining ones are going to be coming from so we've been able to catch like i don't know the legendary birds legendary beasts um your Kyogres, your, your groudons rayquazas curum zekrom reshiram you've been able to catch all of those with the snacks worth situation the legendaries that have not made it into uh, the Indigo Disc, I'm, I'm just guessing like the Regis maybe, um, the Late Guardians, uh, other Pokemon as well like the Genies. Uh, obviously some are transferable through home but you've not been able to actually catch them in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So I'm assuming those legendaries that didn't make it into the game will be available through these raid events. I'd also like to think that the Ultra Beast may potentially be available as well. We do have Beast Balls in Scarlet and Violet. I just feel like it's a little bit pointless to have Beast Balls without the Ultra Beasts. Um, obviously they look cool and it's cool to catch Pokemon in them but it wouldn't really make sense in my opinion to not have Ultra Beasts in. Um, so yeah, we, we may have like Ultra Beast raids as well, but I think that's probably what they're going to do. And I, and I guess that will keep the game alive, like the longevity of it, just being able to do like a new legendary raid like every month. Because I don't think I don't think they're gonna do starters anymore. Like we've already got all the starters in the game. We don't necessarily need the seven star starter raids. Whereas legendaries that we haven't got in the game, we'd give more of an incentive for us to actually log on to Pokemon and play these raids just so we can get them. So yeah, I think they'll do like a seven star legendary every month probably up until like um forever well not forever but a while because we've only had 25 legendaries and there's like loads and loads and loads that we we haven't been given the option to catch so yeah they'll probably do a ton of uh, legendary legendary seven star raids maybe five star raids as well and that might be accompanied with mystery gifts as well like the dark cry that was accompanied with the dialga and palkia that was really cool so maybe they do like a, a genie raid event and then they give us like a victini mystery gift it's not gonna happen but it'd be cool if it did um, but yeah, th this does confirm that we are going to get more seven-star raids. So yeah, we, we may get one announced after Walking Wake and Nine Leaves, maybe not. But um, there's definitely something to think about because yeah, that, that's something that is going to happen um, in the future. Uh, that's all that though. Moving on, we also have this update as well. Some more icons that you can get. Wave five of the latest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero icon parts, uh, is now live on the Nintendo Switch Online app. 
Uh, so yeah, you can get these now. You've only got like Ogapon, um, Koraiden, Maraiden, Terrapagos, Tera uh, Briar, etc. Um, nothing crazy, but obviously if you are kind of wanting to get all these, they're available until the 12th of uh, January. So that's that. Moving on, let's go over some pretty insane Easter eggs as well, as well as kind of like replies to previous leaks and stuff. So um, Riddler Koo is kind of like talking about like sacrificial stuff. And I feel like she should have been, th this character here, Rafer, she, she, she definitely should have been some sort of like antagonist or something because she's literally talking about sacrificing people. Um, so, you know, it just so happens that I need an adult uh, male as a sacri, I mean, assistant kid to help out. So that's Riddle Ku talking about sacrificing things because he was obviously talking about sacrificial things like up until the release of Scarlet and Violet. We have Soul Silver out here saying, oh, this is the first time I've seen this dialogue and it makes total sense that Rafa is into some dark magic stuff. She literally quests us with freeing sealed away evil Pokemon that once nearly destroyed Paldea. After you complete the quest, the only thing she gives us is the TM nasty plot, as in she has a nasty plot of her own. Also, uh, so much of her dialogue lines up with this. She had to use us to catch the four ru uh, ruinous Pokemon because we were pure of heart love and more. It's actually so ironic that this dialogue is with Jack, though. So many people thought that this was sus, uh, that he was sus all along. How did I never make a theory about Rafer being the secret Scarlet and Violet villain? She has an Unovian uh, Zorok on her team, so... This is obviously where she's talking about the sacrificial thing here. You know, says, oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my uh, curiosity under control when obviously you're talking about um, the ruinous Pokemon. And then that's when you obviously obtain Nasty Plot. Yes, this one may indeed be of a good use to me someday. So she is like such an evil, like it's clear that she is kind of evil in that way. Like she's, she, she just is. Like she's talking about sacrificing Jack. She wants you to summon these Pokemon that nearly destroyed the region. Why was she not the antagonist? That would have been such a cool twist. If like, or like a side quest or something, like once you free all the ruinous Pokemon, then you battle her and something, because maybe she wants to like steal them off you. That would have been really, really cool. But um, yeah, I, I definitely think that she should have been some sort of evil character. Uh, I think that was definitely a, a missed opportunity there for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, especially the Indigo Disc and stuff, because it would have been a massive twist and no one really would have seen it coming unless you like paid attention to a dialogue and stuff. But either way, that's that. And then also finishing things off, we have like the family tree to kind of take a look at as well. Um, so quick explanation of the third sister in Penny's family theory. So this is uh, from Jeanne. Um, so this is obviously we, we've had confirmation the Pachuran event. It's not out yet, but it's been like leaked and stuff that Penny is uh, Peony's daughter. Like that is confirmed in the dialogue. And we'll find that out when we play the Pachuran event anyway. Uh, but there's actually this is the kind of family tree as well. So in Japanese, there's the idiom using three flowers to describe the beauty of women. In the idiom, the first two flowers perfectly match uh, Peonia and Penny's Japanese name. So we have Peony and Rosa's mother and we have Peony and Rosa's father. So obviously they had two children being Peony and and Rose, and then of course Peony. Um, I'm not sure if he got married or anything, but this is well, it says his wife, so I'm assuming he did. Uh, so yeah, Peony and Peony's wife, and they had three daughters. Um, so obviously they had Peony, which we are introduced to in the Crown Tundra. We have Penny, which we're introduced to in Paldea, and then we also have a third character as well. So it's likely there's another character. It's not confirmed, but because of like how. The Japanese idiom is, you know, there's likely to be a third sister named after this idiom. It's, it's looking likely. So th the third sister could be in the next game, could be in, you know, if we are getting black and white three, she could be in that game. Then that would be like one in every, or, or it could be like Gen 10. So we have like Peony's daughter, uh, Peonia in Gen 8, and then we have P uh, Penny in Gen 9. And then in Gen 10, we have another of the sisters. And then that would be kind of a cool triple kind of thing to keep them all, um, I guess, uh, linked and everything like that. So the new character likely named Yuri. Um, so yeah, it's not the the, the female uh, protagonist in Gen 8. That's a that's a different name. So that's a kind of a cool family tree where we're probably going to get introduced to a third sister at some point. Um, I could I could see it being black and white three if that's the case because I'm assuming that. Uh, well, maybe not, actually. I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm assuming it could be Black and White 3 the next game. But it could be Gen 10 if there is a third sister. It looks like there is going to be one. But we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It does really help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. Uh, make sure to do the event if you haven't already. What seven-star legendaries do you think we're going to see um, in the future? And do you think one's going to be announced um, tomorrow or Monday? And then also, what are your thoughts on Rafer being like an evil 
magic user and then as well as that what are your thoughts on the peony third daughter situation do you think there is going to be one and when do you think we're going to get introduced to it if she does exist but yeah thank you for watching subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell for daily pokemon content have a great rest of your day and until next time peace